Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to start off where the last video cut off, and I do apologize. I've been having some computer problems. I, <laughs> I was just telling Jim the other day, all of a sudden I'm having computer issues, I'm having phone issues, I'm having watch issues. They're all old, and it's it's almost like they're all trying to die on me at the same time, but it are probably going to have to be replaced at about the same time. But anyway, I'm hanging on to the ones I can for as long as I can. But I have been having some uh, computer issues, and what happened last week is I, when I went to edit that video, the original footage was well over an hour. It took a few hours to do it, but I actually got it cut down and edited to about, I thought it was about 29 minutes. I had it completely finished, got it uploaded to YouTube, and for some reason it uploaded super fast, and I'm thinking, yay, did all my thing, and then I realized that only about four or five minutes of it had uploaded. So I had to go back into my editing system, recapture, get it back the way it needed to be, and it worked just fine. It was showing whatever the 28, 29 minutes. It took much longer to upload, and I was busy doing other things and thought it had uploaded because it took so long, but it left off about three or four minutes of it. So, and that happened to be the last three or four minutes, obviously, of the video, and that's why you didn't see me talk about uh, the Timu, uh, not fairy lights, but firefly lights. So I thought I would just pick up there. There was really nothing I could do about it. I did, I did not have time to go back and watch the video after it was uploaded to YouTube, so I didn't know until some of you started telling me in the comments that it had cut off. And when that happened, it was too late to go back and re-edit that video. Uh, the, really, the only thing I could do was pin a comment from me. And, but, and by the way, one thing you're going to always notice um, is the very first comment under a video, if there's anything that I need to tell you that maybe I forgot in the video or it was just too late to say it, I can I can make a comment just like you do. But what I can do is I can do what they call pinning it with me, which means I've pinned it to be the very first comment that you see when you get ready to write your comment. So always look, and I'll, I'll sign it so you'll know it's me, but always look, and that way if you see something that maybe you think is unusual and you want to tell me about it, then you, if you read there, more than likely I will have uh, explained what was going on so that uh, you you know, and then you can we can we can comment about other things. But that's what it was. So let me tell you. And again, it's sort of a good and a bad when it comes to Timu and HSN. Uh, I can't remember exactly where I left that off, but basically I had ordered those little fairy lights, and I'll put pictures in here, from HSN. Uh, they were the Today Special Value. I ordered two sets of eight, and I, I, I call them clusters. They were clusters of eight little firefly lights. They're little round, tiny bulbs. And on HSN, you got two clusters for $26. And I ordered two. So that would have been 55 ish dollars, almost $60, I guess, for the four clusters of eight. So I ordered those for Jim. I hadn't seen them anywhere else. And I saw them present them. And as much as he loves working in our yard, I thought, this will be perfect. He will love them. Well, the story goes that when they came in, when they were delivered, Jim's son and four year old grandson. Uh, were here visiting, and Jim opened them, and he went, mm, I don't know, Patty. I don't know if I like those or not. And I said, well, Jim, just take one and 
stick it out in the backyard and if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. I'll send it back. Well, they were already partially charged. Nighttime came. He stuck it out in the flower bed in the back. And sure enough, it came on. And we lo he loved it mainly, but we loved it. So that was that. So he put them all out. And a day or two later, I sort of thought, I wonder if Timu has these. Because I'd already received an order from Timu. And I thought, I wonder if Timu has these. I went on and looked, and sure enough, they did. In their description, in the pictures, everything made it look like it was the exact same set of lights. The only difference being, well, there were two differences. The first difference was that they were much cheaper. They were only, in the averaging, let me put it that way, because you know prices change with Timu, they were averaging $5 per cluster. That would have been $10 for two versus the $26 for two from QVC. The And I didn't realize it until I got them in, but the other difference was the little solar panel that fits right on the stake that goes in the ground that you have to have facing the sun to charge them. One was round and one was square. That was the only difference. Everything else about them was identical. So Jim said, yes, order some. So I think I ordered him four to start with. And it took up all probably a 10 days or so to get them in. And when they came in, again, we put them out. We decided to put them out in our front flower bed here, just the little front flower bed where the white daisies are that some of you have seen before. And they just look wonderful out there. But after a couple of days, one of them stopped working of the Timu ones. Well, by then, I had contacted Jim's son and said, because he had seen him, and I said, would you guys like some for your yard? He said, yes. Yeah. So I ordered him four, and then we had some, uh, Jim's best friend and his wife were coming to visit, and he and Jim are all sort of competitive with their yard work. So we decided to order him four uh, and just sort of give him as a gift when he got here. We ordered, oh, my next door neighbor, uh, saw him, and I, so I ordered him four, and then I've ordered three or four more. I can't keep track of them, just to have as extras in case any more of ours go out. So we had had, I, I've lost, listen, I've lost count of how many I've ordered, but I will tell you this, I'm through. One of the Timus had gone out, and then just recently, one of the HSN ones went out. So, there you go. I'm totally satisfied with those from Timu. Uh, I will say that Jim's son, his friend, our next door neighbor, have had no issue with theirs whatsoever. We're the only ones who have, so there you go. But what I do want to talk to you about just, just for a minute is that I, I was absolutely flabbergasted as I have been reading your comments under that last video, the Timu video, because there are some of you who are just adamant about never ordering from anybody in China. And then there are probably the same number of you who have no problem with it whatsoever. You see Timu as a way for you, maybe because you do not have as much uh, spendable income as some do, that it's a way for you to have things that you couldn't purchase ordinarily. So, I, I mean, the your comments are all over the board. And I love that. I'm, I, I was watching these comments come in and with my mouth hanging open, uh, just reading and, and learning and listening to what you had to say about this one particular subject. I always read the comments. I don't always have time to reply to all of them, but this this video was just crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, and I loved it. I loved every minute of reading those comments, just hearing what you have to say, which just sort of goes back to what I've been telling you guys for a long time. Just because I like a product and it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Just because you love a product and it works for you doesn't mean that it's going to work for me. We're all different. Some things work for us, some things don't. 
So I, I just want you to always bear that in mind. Some of us can afford things that others can't. I see things all the time here on YouTube that I can't afford or I would never spend that kind of money for. So it's, as my, as my ex-husband used to say, it's all relative. It's all relative. I thought I would address a couple of comments under that video that really were not about the products per se, but I can tell you how to fix what's going on. Okay, some of you said that, and, and listen, I get this one, boy do I get it, uh, that once you order from them, you're just bombarded with text messages from them wanting you to buy more, basically, or review what you've bought. I have my notes here. And, and I had to learn this, but all you have to do if you're getting those messages or any what I would call spam or unwanted text messages, they always have a little clause or statement at the bottom that says, if you want to discontinue receiving these messages, just reply with STOP, S-T-O-P, in capital letters. And that's all you have to do. Just capital S-T-O-P in the comments, and it should stop them from coming. So I've done that many, many, many times, and it did work. Just that's all you have to do. I think my entire adult life, if I could say one feature that I have had more compliments on than any other has been my hair. I have always had thick hair, thick hair. Pretty much my whole life it's been long, but it's been thick. And I could do anything with it. I always, I've always, always, always received compliments on my hair. But the past few years, I've noticed that as I'm aging, my hair is getting thinner and it's breaking off. It's been falling out. This actually happened prior pandemic. And it even goes so far back as I think I talked about it in a video once because I talked about my my hair, wearing one of those square hair bands every single day. I wondered if maybe that could be the cause of it. It wasn't. And I think I told you that it, that wasn't it. But my hair was breaking. It was getting thin. But the, the fact is, my hair has been thinning for a long time. And I, as I said, I've tried everything I know of. But the one thing that has been consistent is that I have fried my hair and my scalp with my hair dryer. Because my hair was thick, er, you know, I've, it takes a little bit longer for it to dry than some, maybe not as long as others. It's all relative. But I've, you know, I would dry my hair, burn my scalp, burn my hair. Then I would put, use hot tools. I mean, if, Forget hormones, forget aging. I mean, what is to keep my hair from being damaged and thinning after all these years? So when I was approached by Zuvi to work with them, I was more than happy to accept it if I liked it. And that's where the condition came in. I liked it. I, well, the first time I used it, I saw a difference in my hair. Number one, it didn't get hot. A tiny bit warm, maybe, but it didn't get hot because it works with light and warm air. And when I went to their website to read all of the specifics on it, the, the, all of the technical stuff, I did realize that it was, it was a, a patented technology that is not in other hair dryers. It wasn't just a matter of turning the hair dryer on cool to dry my hair. I, I learned the science behind it. And it, it just, it was like it made sense to me. And then, as I said, 
even the first time I used it, I saw a difference in my hair. When I finish drying my hair, it doesn't feel like straw. If I just put my old hair dryer on cool or cold, I would be sitting here tomorrow probably trying to get my hair dry completely. It made a difference the first time I used it. I've been using this now for a couple of months. I still am loving it every bit as much as I did when I first started. But I knew I had to love it before I could show it to you the first time. It's not for everybody, but it's for some. Some of you are in the same boat I've been in. Is my I, I, I will tell you, and I, keep, I mean, I, this is just my experience. I'm not seeing the hair breakage. I'm not seeing all the frizz that I was seeing. I'm, my scalp is thanking me for it every time I use it. I just regret that I didn't find it back years ago when it, my, I started having all the issues with my hair. Can I tell it that it's thicker already? No. But I sure know I'm not harming my hair the way I was. I don't regret working with Zuvi. I don't regret showing it to you because I'm not going to show you anything that I don't absolutely love myself and see value in. really is one of my favorite products. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidences? Do you believe there are coincidences? Or do you believe everything happens for a reason? When you're thinking about something or you're thinking about someone and then it happens. Let me tell you a story. I mentioned a little bit earlier that Jim's best friend uh, from childhood days, boyhood days, and his wife were here visiting. We were talking. I had my iPad in my lap and the Martha Stewart Sports Illustrated article popped up. And if you guys haven't seen that, at 81 years old, just in case you haven't seen it, at 81 years old, Martha Stewart is the cover girl on Sports Illustrated this month. And she is the oldest cover girl ever on Sports Illustrated. She looks wonderful. Martha has definitely had work done. She, as she says in an interview, she, it, the, there was photoshopping involved because even on the younger girls who pose on Sports Illustrated, there's photoshopping involved. So, but even if she hadn't, even if they had done nothing, I think it's wonderful that she did it. But, her hair. Did, have you seen? Go look at it and look at her hair. If I can get a picture and put it here, I will. Um, I will do that. If, in case you haven't seen it, her hair is wonderful. And I looked over at Jim and I said, "If I could make my hair do that, I would cut it tomorrow." My friend spoke up and she said, "Well, why don't you get a wig and try it first? And it was like the light bulb went off in my head. And I remembered, and some of you will remember, back several years ago when I reviewed some wigs, and one of the wigs I reviewed, Raquel Welch's Editor's Pick in Shaded Biscuit. Do you remember that wig? Sort of wavy and curly and about like to right here. I said, wait a minute. And I went in to my closet, and in the back of my closet in a big Tupperware box, I had put all of those wigs that I reviewed. Went in there and I dug through that box, pulled out that editor's pick, and I brought it out and showed it to him. And we laughed and played with that wig and had fun with it, and that was it. They were leaving a little bit later in the late morning to go back to Memphis. They left and I piddled around and I had some a couple of things I needed to take back and return at Marshall's, and I headed to Marshall's. I was not in Marshall's probably two or three minutes, and I was walking with my basket, looking, because in case there was something I wanted to buy while I was there returning, and when I rounded a corner, I ran into this girl, and she said, ah, you're, I know you, I know you, and she took a minute, and I said, 
Patty, and, yeah, something like this. I don't remember our exact conversation. Yes, Patty. She said, yes, I watch you. I watch you. She said, I'm, I, I'm, it never occurred to me. I think she said it never occurred to me that I would run into you here. I, I don't live here. I'm here visiting my, my daughter. She was Sherry Mulhoney. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> You'll see our picture here. But Sherry said, let me tell you how I found you on YouTube. She said, I wear wigs. And she said, I was looking for reviews on the Raquel Welch Editor's Pick review in Shaded Biscuit. It was the exact wig that I had reviewed, the exact wig that I had pulled out of my closet that very morning, and we had had fun with. What? How does that happen? When does that happen? A coincidence or not? I think not. I think not. But we we had we had a fun time talking and. Uh, you just never know. You never know. I'm going to tell you again. I don't care. I don't care where we are. If you see me, please speak to me. Please speak to me. I don't care what I look like. I don't care what you look like. Just speak to me. I love meeting you guys. I really do. Okay. I'm going to show you. A couple, I think I've got th three uh, three more things that I'm loving right now. And one I've sort of been using for a while, and it occurred to me uh, recently that I had not only had, I never really talked about this, but I don't think I've seen anybody else talking about it. And it's such a wonderful product and not expensive at all when you think about it. And it makes clean, it's a brush cleaner. And I saw Emily Noel talk about it a week or so ago. And that's why, that's what sort of really made me think, well, maybe I should say something to you guys. It's called Cinema Secrets. And you're going to see almost an empty bottle. But this is what it looks like. Oh, by the way, I buy it off of Amazon. You can buy this in different configurations. I bought originally this little uh, six fluid ounce spray bottle because I wanted to make sure I liked it before I spent any real money on it. And I don't spend any real money on it, trust me. You'll see. But it says, makeup brush cleaner, quick drying, quick drying, rinse free formula. So this is how I bought it originally. And then uh, what I've been doing is I buy the refill bottle, which is 16 fluid ounces. And I just pour this into this bottle. So this is a new refill that I've ordered. But I've been using this for quite a while now. And there, there's, uh, I think you can get it with a little metal tin cup so that you can pour it in there and put your brushes in it. I don't like to do that. I like to spray it directly on my brush. So let me show you how it works. I think I can do it with this little amount in here. But I saved this brush from this morning. This is dirty, as you can see. It's my concealer and around my eyes, the little Angie hot and flashy brush that everybody is so fond of. By the way, it's the A506. Okay, what I do, I'll either use a paper towel or I will use... Um, maybe an old washcloth or something like that. And I keep, listen, I've gotten to where I clean my brushes every time I use them. That way I always have clean brushes. So what I do basically is I, I put it like this and you can see the makeup on it. And, all right. Look. It has a very unpleasant unpleasant scent, but I can get past that because of the ease. <laughs> and they do have another scent, I think a citrus scent, but I've just stuck with this. And there's the brush. This is pretty dry. You can use it. You know, I would wait a while before using it, but there it is. That's it. I love this stuff. I asked Jim Bailey. <laughs> I, I I used to spend 
forever washing brushes. Usually it was on a Saturday morning. I would gather all my dirty brushes and I would wash and I would wash and I would wash. Then I would get them all washed and I would lay them out on the porch or I would lay them outside in the sun to dry. And it would be hours. This, I could, I would use this brush again in probably 20 or 30 minutes. Make sure it's completely dry. But it is completely clean. And it doesn't damage my brushes. So I do get this from Amazon. And I will list everything that I can list in the show more description box below the video. I will. But I only use this on my brushes. And it does the same whether it's a lotion, a, a cream foundation, a liquid foundation, powders. It, it works. It just cleans the brush. You can just see it dissolve the product off of the brush. If you wear makeup and you use brushes, it's a good, it's a good thing. The second thing I don't have right here to show you, but I'll show you a picture of it. Emily talked about this too, and I've been looking for a way since I'm sort of doing my skincare a little bit different to just keep what I'm using on my vanity in the bathroom. And to keep it all in order and presentable and not just everywhere. So it's a little clear lucite case with a lid that raises up that you, and, and then a couple of drawers, I think, on the bottom so that you can organize your skincare. Or you could use, I guess you could put makeup, anything in there, but I'm doing my skincare and I'm really loving it. So that came from Amazon also. I'll put a link to it. And, I want to say it was maybe $20, $25, but it's just a great way for me to keep it neat I'm on this keeping my vanity neat kick right now. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, guys, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to show you, I think, I think that I'm looking on my table here. The last thing I'm going to show you is this. And let me show you. Let me let me show you what's in this sack because there's a bunch of them. You see? Look at this. Oops. These are for your closet, for your clothes hangers, so that you can organize your closet, which Lord knows I need desperately, and I am working on it, and I'm getting there. And when I get there, I will show you. I found these on Amazon, and they come in a, I think a, a, there's a hundred to a box, and that sounds like an awful lot, but it's not really. Jim's son was here when these were delivered, and I showed them to him, and he went, oh, and I said, well, just take you a handful of them, or as many as you want. It. They were so inexpensive, I'll just order another box of them, which I had to wind up doing. But let me show you, let me show you here. I brought something in here. This is what it looks like. So they come in different colors, but they fit it fits over your hanger and then you can just hang and then there's another one over this hanger so I could hang something else from here. I've seen the ones that are like a chain or something where it hangs down like this and then you have you well, I've seen those. You know what I'm talking about. But this is different. And so I've been organizing like my tops and things by color. So that's that's it. I'm really I'm really liking this. I can just take anything and it's made a lot of room in my closet. A lot of room. And they were, as I said, they were very inexpensive. And but I'm loving these. These, these are great. These are great. I'll let you, I'll let you know when I get my closet organized, and I'll show it to you. But it's a process. It's a process. I want to thank you so much for watching. I want you know what? I want to thank you for all of your comments last week. I love reading the comments. I. I could not believe, I could not believe the sheer number of comments. It was just, you were, you were very vocal, I tell you, you were very vocal. 
and like I said, your your comments were all over the place. And like I say, I always want you, whether you disagree with me or you agree with me, just be nice. Don't be mean. Don't be rude. And we'll we'll be in business. <laughs> but but I do ask that you you be nice. Just be nice and be respectful. Again, thank you. Know that I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.